What's up people, this is RGC and welcome to another collection video. This time I'm going to do one of my favorite consoles to collect for and that is the PlayStation 2. Um, just a little background information. Uh, all these games of mine all are CIB, meaning uh, complete with the original case, uh, game, and the uh, manual. Um, all a black label, no X rentals. Um, most of these games were picked up from local stores as well as Craigslist. Some were from garage sales. Um, some occasional online purchases, but uh, it's not something I do uh, for most of my collection. Um, so that's pretty much the ground rules. Uh, things you will not see in my collection include uh, player's choice or greatest hits. Um, you will also not see a lot of uh, sports games. Um, you know I'm not a sports games guy. Um, playing a game of a game has been something that has never appealed to me. If you like sports games, good for you. This is not the place. Um, just make sure your collection is uh, unique to you. And um, this one kind of represents who I am as a person and a gamer. So I like high quality stuff. I like high quality games. Uh, I prefer the quality over quantity approach. And here we go. First up, I'm going to start off with the first PlayStation 2 game I ever got, and that's Dead or Alive 2 uh, Hardcore. It's a fighting game. It's okay. Uh, a staple in the PlayStation 2 era. Um, Gran Turismo 3. Next up, GT4. Kind of like these games as well. Uh, Blood Rain. The original Blood Rain 2. Oni. Kind of heard bad stuff about that game. Cool cover art though. Uh, Worms, Forts, uh, Under Siege. Kind of Sega. Sega title. Or published by Sega. Um, Futuristic Racer. Uh, Power Drone. Big Gundam fan, uh, SD Gundam Force Showdown, more futuristic racers, uh, XGRA, Extreme G Racing Association, uh, another game published by Sega, uh, Tato Legends, pretty good compilation disc, that's one of the great things about the uh, PlayStation 2 original Xbox and GameCube era. With the compilation disc that were available. Another compilation, Capcom Classics Collection. Um, pretty cool game. Uh, this is the uh, original non uh, special edition version of Devil May Cry 3 Dante's Awakening. This is the game notoriously, well, known for being pretty hard, notoriously hard. Um, make sure you get the uh, non special edition version. If you want to know where I'm coming from on that. Continuing on. Uh, Tenchu. Wrath of Heaven. Tenchu. Fatal Shadows. God of War. The original. God of War 2. Four, two, Armored Course, uh, Silent Line, Armored Core, Armored Core Nexus, Armored Core Last Raven. World Heroes Anthology. Heavenly Guardian, this is the PlayStation 2 version, of course, this game also was released for the Wii. Bloody Roar uh, 3. Mobile Suit Gundam, Encounters in Space.
Tattoo Legends 2. Fatal Fury Battle Archives. Art of Fighting Anthology. Working Designs Action here. Uh, Gun Griffin Blaze and Filthy Heat. Gauntlet, Dark Legacy. Connecticut. Tetris Worlds. Who Borders 2001? Midway Arcade Treasures. Midway Arcade Treasures 2. Hypersonic Extreme. Legion, The Legend of Excalibur. Lethal Skies. Street Fighter Anniversary Collection. Red Ninja, End of Honor. Shmup action here, Raiden 3, or Raiden 3. Not a common one to run across, uh, The Adventures of Cookie and Cream. King of Fires 11. Extreme G Racing. Uh, XG3. This is the third game in the series. Bujin Guy. The Forsaken City. Pretty cool game. Capcom Classics Collection Volume 2. Highly suggest picking this one up. Good game. SNK Arcade Classics Volume 1. Tekken 4. Um, pretty underrated uh, entry in the series. Not a lot of characters, but pretty good game. And, uh, awesome soundtrack. Kind of simplistic um, in nature, the fighting, but pretty cool. Um, Tekken 5. Kind of before Tekken got more advanced or technical. Um, Wipeout Fusion. One of my favorites. Robotech Battle Cry. Cell Shaded, but it's a pretty awesome game. I had it for the GameCube originally. Let's see. Uh, Mobile Suit Gundam. Uh, Gundam Seed, I should say, I guess. Uh, Never Ending Tomorrow. Sega Classics Collection. I was just picking this one up too. Sega Genesis Collection. Pretty awesome compilation here. Has um, let's see, um, let's see. It has quite a few games on here, and uh, let's see, uh, sort of a million, Fantasy Star, two, three, and four, um, Flicky. Pretty, pretty awesome compilation. Okay. Sonic Mega Collection Plus. Um, Staple, if you ask me, one of my uh, favorite PlayStation 2 games, and it's not that expensive. 
Um, kind of hard to find a black label version of that game, though. Okay. Um, what we got here? Um, Street Fighter Alpha Anthology. Capcom Fighting Evolution. Not a good game. Not a big fan of it. Contra Shattered Soldier. Gradius 5. Or Gradius 5, however you want to pronounce it. And uh, Guilty Gear XX uh, Accent Core. Okay, um, continuing on. Shadow of the Colossus, R-Type Final, Soul Calibur 2, King of Fighters 2006, this one's factory seal. Not worth much, but it's factory seal. Shadow of Rome. Mega Man X7, horrible game. One of the worst games I've ever played. Terrible game. Uh, okay, they. Capcom took a step in the right direction with this one with uh, Mega Man X8. Actually pretty good. Recently beat it. Okay. Mega Man X Collection. It's a staple. So people can have a chance to play other games in the series. Um, try some of the other games other than Mega Man X, please, people. Because everybody just brags about Mega Man X. There's other games that came after Mega Man X, so try something new. Anyway, uh, Mega Man Anniversary Collection. Um, interesting Fighter, uh, Arcana, Heart, Atlas, published by Atlas. All female cast of fighters. Don't see that one too often. Uh, the Warriors. Make sure to get a black label, of course. Pretty good game. Let's see. Inuyasha. Feudal Combat. Trapped. Yu Yu Hakusho. Dark Tournament. Guilty Gear X2. Zones of the Enders. And one of my favorite PlayStation 2 games, Zone of the Enders 2, the second runner. Star Wars Bounty Hunter. This is the standard edition. Really good game. Um, I think kind of underappreciated. Your uh, Django Fett. Pretty, pretty cool game. Time Splitters 2, the great shooter. Uh, a game that I really enjoyed, especially back in my high school days. Uh, Def Jam Vendetta. Kind of interesting to look back at the artists of that time in comparison to how the artists are now, the rap artists. Um, completely different. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I'm not going to get into that, though. Um, continuing on the series, Def Jam, Fight for New York. Um, I think it's an overall better game uh, than the original. This game is, has a more dark theme, uh, more violent, more graphic, uh, more uh, vulgar language. But it, it's, it's a good game. Uh, underrated, underappreciated, and uh, hence the high price these days. A game in the Mega Man series that um, did not get enough attention, and that's Mega Man X Command Mission. This is actually an RPG. Um, it's one of the 
um, great games or better games in the series, if you ask me. Um, everybody likes to talk about how Mega Man X has a great story, or at least the original Super Nintendo title. Um, I'm like, okay, whatever. It's a platformer. What type of story does a platformer have? That's just like saying Super Mario has a good story. It doesn't, but it's a fun game. Uh, but yes, Mega Man X Command Mission does have a great story. It's a great um, RPG. It's rather linear in nature, but it's, it's pretty good, and uh, you should try it. Sorry about getting on a little tangent right there. I just, like I said, I just don't like Mega Man X. Anyway, uh, Rugby um, 2001, I believe, or 2000. Uh, this one's factory sealed. It doesn't have a year under it. That's the only reason I have it. I got it for a dollar at the pawn shop. Like I said, you won't catch me dead with sports games unless they're sealed or something. Uh, continuing on, let's see. A game I'm currently playing right now, and that's uh, Olden Sphere. It's an action RPG published by Atlas, uh, developed by Vanillaware. Um, I do like the game. I like Muramasa better. This is a pretty good game. This game suffers from terrible slowdown and frame rate drops, though, when uh, too much action is going on on the screen. And that can really make some of the bosses harder than what it needs to be. But overall, good game. I do suggest picking it up. I made sure to get the non player's choice, as always. Uh, continuing on, actually get into some RPG action. As a PlayStation guy, it's understandable to have some RPGs because that's what RPGs are. You know, PlayStations are known for their RPG selection. Okay, uh, Xenosaga, Episode 1. And Final Fantasy X. Some type of way my games got kind of mixed up. I'm actually into some fighting games again. Uh, Capcom vs. SNK2, uh, Mark of the Millennium. Good game, one of the best fighting games I own and have ever played. Awesome cast, selection of characters from both the Capcom and SNK universe. Uh, great music for the most part. Um, overall, good game. Too bad they never came out with a sequel. Uh, and they may never come out with a sequel. Capcom's too busy making Street Fighter uh, remakes. Pumping out Street Fighters that play just the same as the previous ones and making Resident Evil remakes. So we had to just keep milking those to death. Okay, continuing on, another Capcom fighting game Marvel vs. Capcom 2. A uh, pretty cool fighting game. Um, this game used to be quite rare at one time and valuable, but the digital releases on online have really hurt the value of this game. Uh, it's a good game as stated. Numerous characters. Uh, I don't remember the exact fighter like count, but I think it's at least 40, 42, something like that. Maybe more than that, I don't remember. Um, good game, but this game has one of the worst soundtracks I have ever heard. And you know what I mean if you play this game. Good game, horrendous, terrible music. Um, that's a game where you turn the sound completely off. Metal Slug Anthology. King of Fighters uh, 2002 and 2003. Let me find my other one. Because I think I have it. Yeah, I found it. So we got King of Fighters 2002-2003. We also have King of Fighters uh, 2000 and 2001. So big fan of the King of Fighters, Fatal Fury, the SNK based fighting games, I kind of like them, I like the character design, uh, King of Fighters collection, the uh, uh, Orochi Saga, Rez, it's a game you won't see too often, I think it did get a reprint, but yeah, it's not a common game to run across. Okay, continuing on. 
warship gunner too. Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi or Tenkaichi 3. Black label. Uh, this is the one without the bonus disc. Whatever. I don't care. Uh, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2. It's not a common one to come across. Get a little bit more uh, RPG action in there. Shadow Hearts. Not a game you're gonna to see too frequently. Shining Tears. Dark Cloud 2. King Yasha, The Secret of the Cursed Mask. It's RPG as confirmation. Okay, and the King of Hearts. Kingdom Hearts, excuse me, uh, trilogy here. We have the original Black Label, of course. Kingdom Hearts 2 and 3. So, just taking a look at this, you can see I got all uh, the Black Label versions. I'm going to flash on the screen what the Player's Choice versions look like. And you just ask yourself why I don't collect Player's Choice games. Just in case someone is kind of wondering why I don't. It's just very, uh, it just aesthetically irritates me. I just can't stand the look of it. Okay, um, continuing on. Robot Alchemic Drive. God Hand. And we have some of the dot hack games. Dot hack original part one. Dot hack part two. Dot hack three. Alfred. And uh, quarantine four. And uh, Another quarantine. So, nothing wrong with having two dot hat quarantines, especially if you know how much that game is worth. So, happy to have, to have picked those up before they got real expensive. Been doing this a while. Okay, continuing on with the dot hat series, the GU. Uh, we got uh, Rebirth, Reminisce, and Redemption. So, got all seven of the dot heck games. All right, and wrapping my collection up, we have a survival horror game by Age Tech, Kuon. Not a lot of people know about this one. If you want to know, look it up. Haunting Ground. I think this one kind of speaks for itself. And finally, Rule of Rose. So, in short, that pretty much takes care of my PlayStation 2 collection. I'd like to thank you for watching. Uh, as stated before, um, make sure your collection reflects who you are as a person and what you like. Everybody kind of likes different stuff, understandable. But um, you can really save yourself some money, too, by just collecting what you like. Um, you don't have to go out and spend all your money trying to just amass a large collection of games you may never play. Uh, just get yourself a nice small collection of good quality games and you should be good to go. Um, it's not a competition. Just just enjoy yourself and collect what you want to. Um, I see a lot of people, they go for collecting everything, for every console, and essentially what they eventually get is a collection with no identity as a purpose. It's kind of like your collection is supposed to represent who you are as a person. So, it's easier to manage and keep up with if you keep your stuff small and you kind of, uh, you know, take the quality over quantity approach. Just because you have a big room full of games doesn't mean they're good. Anyway, thank you for watching. Feel free to comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, stay tuned for more collection updates and videos. Check out my Instagram. The link is on my main page. 
Have a nice day and good luck collecting. Peace.